And three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. Is Scratch got so is that this is a Scratch dialogue. We are back talking about something cool that we thought was cool from the week. They took over with our special guest, Athena the dog. Yeah. Um, we we reverted these episodes back from four topics to just one so we could pump out more. But we really haven't been doing that. We've just been doing like one a week still. Well, it's been a little busy. <laughs> True. Regardless, it allows us to like talk more in-depthly about the one topic for longer. Right. So the biggest question is, should I go to university or college? I hear that a lot. And mm. that's, that's what we're going to we're gonna discuss today. Okay. So first off, I'd like to say that uh, me and Vish both went to university and college. But you didn't finish university. You just went to college. Finish that. Yeah. Uh, I went to university and then college. And what did you study, Vish? Uh, in college, civil engineering. And then in university? Oh, it was just like a university level of that. Oh, okay, cool. And then you got your job, and then which is in the same field. As I studied, yeah. Yeah, and then I studied... I got into university doing, like, computer science. That was really difficult, so I went to networking, and that was kind of a drain. I mean, like, you could just, like, drudge on and, like, just pass, but it was kind of like, well, I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Mm -hmm. So I switched to marketing, and then from marketing, because it was, like, some sort of art thing, I went to uh, public relations just to throw that in the mix because <laughs> yeah. like marketing and public relations like oh like you must be super legit you know what i mean because like oh yeah, yeah, marketing yeah, yeah, degree, yeah it's like all right whatever but like i think one of the things that a lot of people think about now is like should i even go well i feel like like i don't know how do you feel do you feel like people just do it now like i've heard i've heard a lot of people say it's like oh it's just like a high school education now it's like expected you should do it to get like any job out there, like you should well, just go to university. Yeah, in today's time, you need to. Do you think so? Like, I kind of find that like in the general sense, yeah. Okay. It does help in the aspect of getting a better kind of job. All right. So then, my second question would be like, how many people actually utilize their degree? What they studied? Yeah. Uh, it depends on what you study. Oh, that's a great answer. So, like, what do you mean? Um, well. What I study is engineering, so there's a lot of jobs in engineering. True. Okay, true. But, at, like, in marketing or, like, business or, like, I don't know, I, I guess, like, like, I always hear, like, oh, you're not, you know that, like, mm -hmm. common thing where people are like, oh, you're never going to use your degree that you get anyways. Okay. It's, like, it's just a waste of time and, like, everyone gets, like, super cynical. Uh, depends on what degree. I think that's uh, coming from a lot of um, people with junk degrees. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of junk degrees. Yeah, all right, true. So then it's like, for me, so, so it uh, depends on what you're studying. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're really in the engineering field, where the money's at. Like, so this is where you get to see the in the general, um, like why you know, like I think Joe Rogan brings it up a lot. Like Asians, why are they doing really well? They're okay, choosing yeah. degrees that have jobs in it. I need to think about that. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they are. That's true because it's like the STEM stuff. It's the STEM, yeah. right? What's so STEM? Like science, tech, and like engineering, math, something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly oh, okay, the meaning yeah, of yeah. it, but it's like, like these are STEM courses or something like that. So yeah. these are what, like the Asian people are choosing, Indians, Chinese, like, like this is interesting. The, why they're doing way better than other cultures? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Interesting. That's that's true. Actually, um, I so I went to like a predominantly Asian high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in like this thing called like the IB program. And it was like, it was supposed to be like university level, like version of high school yeah. gets you prepared. So you can go to any university you want. And like after year one, like I did it and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine, whatever. But like the thing that got me was that they're like, you have to read four books over the summer. Yeah. And I had never finished a book before. Mm -hmm. And you got to do French throughout all four years. <laughs> so, like, the first year was already so hard. I was like, oh, you know, I'm just not going to do this. Like, mm -hmm. why would I waste my summer, you know, like, right. pursuing this, yeah. right? And, like, so, but in high school, I had taken, like, chem, bio, mm -hmm. um, physics. Mm -hmm. no, I hadn't taken chem and bio, and I felt like a failure. Because, like, it's, like, 
everyone takes like chem, biophysics, all three maths, right? The university English, you know what I mean? And like, uh-huh. I just thought that was like the norm because like my sister did it, my mom was telling me to do it, so I was like, all right. And then everyone else was doing all like the quote unquote smart people. If you had, if you didn't do any of that, it was like, oh, you're not gonna amount to anything in your life. Right. That's what like the the assumption was, right? Yeah. So I was like, okay. And then like, like speaking to Tara, and then she's like, oh there's this thing called the Asian six pack. And I was like, well, what's an Asian six pack? <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, oh, it's like chem, biophysics, all the maths, the university level. Yeah, that's a- And I was like, mm-hmm. wait, that's, you don't have to take that? And she's like, no, you can like choose, like I did like photography and like leadership. And like, I was like, we never were allowed to do that. But you then, uh, you wouldn't get into certain programs though. Yeah, but you still get into university. No, not in the specific... If you're going into engineering, no. No, you all right. No, no, all right. True. Okay, no, no. What I'm saying... All right. Oh. This is like one step removed from that. Before okay. we even get to university. That's why I thought... No, no, like what you're saying right there is what I thought about university. It's like to only to get in university, you you can... You have to take these courses. I was like, okay, so to go to university, I must take these hard courses, right? Okay, okay. But then it's like, no, you can get into university without those courses. And then that's when I found out about junk degrees. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's like I didn't know... That these things existed, I thought like it's like you oh, can't go to university, right. and then going to university, like I was like, oh man, that 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 physics. Well, like, again, we're we're hard. but we're thinking Asian, right? Because you couldn't go to university without these sciences and maths. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I'm saying. To- yeah. True, exactly. And and like you grew up, and your parents were like, "Well, I did chem, like physics in <laughs> high school." So I was like, "All right, well, that's why I do that too." Right. You know, you don't like the level of degree of difficulty that like yeah. they they hold people up and like eastern countries yeah. is way harder than it is here mm-hmm. you know what i mean and like when i was in when i was in um i remember when i was in business and like everyone was like i felt like a loser for going to business right only now that like i'm older and people are like i'm seeing other people go to like university and stuff they're mm-hmm. like oh yeah business is such a prestigious field i'm like no it wasn't in my head like to me it wasn't because it's like it wasn't one of the the it's like like it wasn't a doctor or i wasn't like a okay. you know what i mean like uh-huh. it was it was weird Cause then I was like, like, all right. So when I was in business, mm-hmm. people would always complain about how hard it was. And I was like, guys, what are you talking about? This is not hard at all. You know, mm-hmm. because I had come already from like the science, like the computer science yeah. was so hard. Networking was really hard. And I go to business. I was like, this is, this is a joke, you know? And then watching like, and then I got like really good grades in it. And I was like, yeah, yeah but like I had come from that. So like every every time I was in like a business class, I was like, no, this is a joke, guys. Like, why are you guys complaining? This is not hard. You guys don't know what hard is, you know? <laughs> and then they're like, okay, well, I'm just gonna drop down to like an easier course, like a, like a some random arts degree course, because I couldn't hack it in business. I'm like, how can you not hack the easiest thing? Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I always found business is the easiest thing because it's just like it's just common sense, mm-hmm. you know? And like I always I always thought of it like people who took business just didn't have business sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, every yeah. smart business owner never took business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Steve Jobs didn't take business. No, he was a Bill Gates yeah. didn't take business. No. You know? And then I always say, like, well, all these really smart people were dropouts. Right. Like, yeah, like, Steve Jobs and stuff. All these people I idolized in business school. I was like, mm. I'm here learning from your, like, mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, your, your path. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not doing something crazy like freaking curing cancer over here. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, accounting, this is this. I'm like, okay, like, yeah. what are we going to do with this? Like, marketing, you know? Right. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. That, that, that's just how I felt. But I guess it's different from an engineering point of view. Uh, I mean, yeah, because there's jobs already set up for engineers. <laughs> like, I don't so, is it, is it like when you graduate, you like, can just like go to it like i, I don't understand uh, like is it easy like i don't understand yes i mean it's not not <laughs> easy yes. it's not yes, easy it's, it's easy. not easy but it's like yeah there are more opportunities and it's not just like but like you went to college though so like you were saying like oh we need to go to university so it's like you don't really i guess need to no i mean uh, you you if you want more money you can you go to university yeah right okay oh i see i see what you're saying just like an upgrade yeah yeah oh okay okay oh i see i see like there's and then you have more opportunities because you can apply uh, like a lot like in america too so yeah a lot of people do that 
Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, because it's more transferable. Yeah. But that's what business is also really transferable because if you can come up with a really good idea and like show your acumen, people will just hire you, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, But but getting back to it, I find that like, I find the only reason why I'm so, like, so okay, so I graduated business school Mm. and I couldn't find any jobs. Like I started working for a martial arts studio because I was training out of that place. But simultaneously, I also didn't want specific because i could feel like oh that's not for me like yeah. going to work in like a suit i was like dude i look like i'm like 12 still why am i wearing a suit you know what i mean it's like okay. and it almost felt like death i don't know to me just to me right <laughs> yeah. to like go into that field and like this is where you're gonna spend the next like it felt like life could be more adventurous than that uh-huh. but i all like no matter what i was doing whether it was like martial arts yoga traveling i always like kept my foot in the business door Right. You know what I mean? I was always making websites for people. I'm like, and literally that's what I do now. Like photos, videos, websites, like for a company. Yeah. And it's like, it, it's weird because it's like, I wouldn't say my degree got me here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's all the other things. Yeah. That's what it depends on what, what degree. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I feel like business is a jump degree. I feel like that. Okay. You yeah. know, because it's like you, you apply to like Actually, this thing. Yeah. And you're like, well, I, I was like, why would you hire me? Yeah. Who like just hire like a mathematician? Mm. Or, you know what I mean? Like, or a, like if you're taking an administrative job, an HR job, like these are like, anybody could do this. Mm-hmm. You know, like an admin job. All right, just teach someone to do it. You know, like business is not very hard. I always, I honestly felt like business is a jump degree. Right. You know. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I did think like that too. I think. You thought business was a job degree too? You're like, oh yeah, I'd be just going to the crap degree now. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't think that. I didn't think that. No, I just didn't. I like you know. I did. It was at the time when I was like, I don't know what to do. I'll just choose this because at least something I can get out of this. <laughs> For you? Yeah. For yours? Oh, interesting. But like, you must have had some sort of propensity because I tried that with computer science. I was like, this is just damn hard. And then networking too. I I literally I completely like two years. I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Going to third year, I was like, I can't do this. Well, you did have some interest in it, I guess. Then it makes it better. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know how you know how I switched to business? Like in networking, we had to take like a marketing course. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is like really interesting. Right. So then I started, I created like my first, well, technically I created my first clothing brand in high school for like a school project. Mm-hmm. And then like after in, in networking class, I would sit there and like create clothing brands as well. Okay. You know, so like, which is interesting when you think about fractals because like, oh, are you into like, designing now it's like yeah but i've been doing this for a while you know it's like it's not like out of randomness but Uh like anyways so then in that i was like okay why don't i just switch to like marketing like not really marketing just business so i can understand yeah what it is i'm trying to create right right, you know what i mean but it still felt like a jump degree because it's like well why don't you just (laughs) like quit school take all that money you would have spent in school and start a business Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like I, i guess i mean Cause like what like literally what jobs are out there for somebody who's got like a standard business degree starting off? I have no idea. I, yeah. Like you'll get like an intern <laughs> job, which is like trash. Like okay. w- what I find is like the reason why I'm like so like skilled now is because I'm self taught right. in all of this. Yeah. Like videos, photos. Uh, like I've never went to school for it. Yeah. You know. And I feel like that's the difference of like learning and then just going through the motions, Mm -hmm. you know? So like, I feel like the question of like people being like, oh, should I go to university or college? It's like, why? Do do you want the paper? Like, well, I want a good job. All right. Do you even know what that job entails? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know. Like, what, what do you think? Uh... I think in in specific fields, yes, but like in certain areas, you just can't. Um, all right, let's start. All right, all right. You're right. You're right. I agree with you on that one. Let's not talk <laughs> about spe- like like yes, in like highly specialized fields, you need to go to school. Yeah, but I'm talking about like non-specialized fields. Uh, in which case, you don't really need school. Yeah, it's like it doesn't make any sense to me to spend all this money on like, okay, l- let me say like. Are not knocking people who have this degree, but mm. I'm just like, if you have like a psych degree, it's like, okay, but what do you want to do with that? Okay. Like, yeah. it's, it's not, I'm like, again, I'm not knocking it. It's just mm. like, what, what's the next step? 
like was with when I took the business thing, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna learn like accounting. Like I always learn the practical stuff. It's like I need to learn accounting, but then I need to learn like theories of marketing. I need to understand how economics works. You right. know what I mean? So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I always picked my courses smart. Because I remember when I was in university and like we were choosing like electives and people were just like, all right, well, I'm going to take astronomy. I was like, why the frig are you going to spend a whole semester learning about astronomy for what, bro? Uh-huh. You know, oh, my interest. Well, I did that. You did? You took yeah. astronomy? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. But see, you had already gotten something. <laughs> no, no, I, no, but like you already have a degree. You already have um, a diploma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay... Fine, you already have the basis. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, people who don't, you know, those people that, like, just filled their electives with anything, just that it was like, oh, there's an easy A course. There was a website. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I swear, like, like when I was in university, it's like, it's like you, there's a website you could type in mm-hmm. and it, it would pull up your university and it would tell you all your professors and who's the easiest marker. Oh, really? And then people would take the course <laughs> of the easiest marker. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. like there, I was like rate your prof or something like that. Like, oh, easy A's, easy A's. Take this course, take this course. <laughs> and then people would just like get a bunch of A's, and I'm like, well, what did you learn in school? You know, uh, what I mean? if I was, if I was a hirer, yeah. I'd be like, okay, what? Like, it, I'm I'm assuming like in the future I'm gonna do some sort of hiring. Mm-hmm. Like, I just feel that about like the way my yeah. life's headed. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, just like what I see for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a natural next step. Like obviously, like, anyways, not not to go off, but like hiring is definitely going to be in my future. Right. So like, I would never ask. And if you're listening to this right now and you're trying to get a job for me in the future, like kudos to you for listening to this. But like, like I would ask them. Yeah. I always said this. I <laughs> even actually at my last job when I was leaving it, I was like, hey guys, I'm going to give you guys a pro tip on how to figure out how to hire somebody just as good as me. Because they were like, oh, you're, you're like the best. How do we hire somebody like you? Mm. And I'm like, okay, give them a picture and then give them some words. Like give them six pictures, six words, and tell them to mix and match. Okay. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like I've been on these interviews now and I'm just like, these interviews are so like not related to anything about me mm-hmm. in terms of my work. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, Tell me about a time when I guess it is, but it's like okay, but experiences are like whatever. But it's how do you think as a person? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But like, that goes back to like, if you were graduating and it's like, yeah, I got a bunch of A's. It's like, yeah, but what did you learn at university? But university, you 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 learn the basics. You learn out. But see, that, that's the illusion. That's the illusion. Yeah. Like everyone always says that. They're like, they're like, oh, if no, no, sorry, sorry, that's the truth. But the illusion is that it's everything. Like you're, so you're ready right, for you're the right. world. And, yeah, every, everyone's like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna be set for a job for this. But it's like, no, you're right. It's the basics. It's like you need to continuously learn. Yeah. So if you're not actually interested in your field, so you're gonna continuously spend the rest of your life learning about something you don't like. Mm-hmm. What's the point? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. And like, like me, I call myself like a full stack marketer where it's like, I can do everything from like strategy to like photo video and then completion, you know, like I can take the idea, but it's like, it's like all of those things were like, they weren't taught in university. Mm -hmm. And how do you expect to get those experiences without going out and doing it or immersing yourself? In yeah, it? exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like, I want to be a marketer. So somebody out there is like, they're getting their degree right now. And they're like, I'm going to be a marketer. It's like, well, what entails a marketing bro? Mm-hmm. Psychology. Did you read any psychology books? No, I didn't. Well, photos are a big part of advertising. Like, do you know anything about photos? No, I don't. So it's like, so what use are you to me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I find that like so okay, so then what I think yeah, what were you saying? Now are these like art degrees? I don't like I like No, but even business. Like I'm telling you right now, like from my perspective, it's like I didn't really when people say like I didn't really learn anything, but you're right. It's cause it's just giving you the basics. Like you have to continuously keep going to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But then then I guess the question becomes like alternate schooling like is school correct because like you hear this all the time like i was listening to like a podcast with like jaden smith Mm -hmm. and he's like i'm trying to be out here to like change the education system like school should be about like like why are you like gonna spend time doing homework 
Like, if you have to read, like, a script, you should be able to read that in school. And, like, your teacher should be somebody to, like, facilitate your learning and, like, foster your growth, right? And I'm kind of like, yes and no. Okay. Right? It's like, yes, they should kind of, like, push you in that direction. But no, you have to intrinsically have that for yourself. Like, it's like, you, we can't just spend our whole time spoon feeding, ah, spoon feeding people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I think that's what people think when they go to university. It's like, I'm going to be spoon-fed this, and I'm going to get spoon-fed a job. Right. But it's like, if you go to learn something for your genuine curiosity, then there is nothing to learn because you're just, like, having fun. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so our pro example. So I just watched you, like, YouTube how to do something. Yeah. Right? Right. Like how with this like sound setup that we got going on, Mm -hmm. it's like you're learning how to learn. Yeah. Right. You have a genuine interest in it. So now if you're like, oh, I think I want to take this like sound engineering course because like I I'm not getting what I need out of these YouTube videos. I'd be like, solid. That makes sense. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That now that's not a jump degree. Right. Right. I feel like a jump degree is something that you're not interested in, but you're taking it, and then in the end you're just gonna be left with something that you don't really want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, all right, it's, it's like this. All right, I'm going to get into sound engineering because I want to be a rapper. Okay, cool. You go into sound engineering. You're like, wow, it, it had nothing to do with like rapping at all. No, bro, because you should have just been out rapping. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what are you talking about? But if you, like I just watched you YouTube something and you're like, oh, man, like I literally can't figure this out unless I went to school. So I'm going to go to school for it. It's like you know what you're going for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, then it's not junk. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think I think the real problem here is not the system or like how it's set up. I think the real problem is people just don't know what they want. Okay. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. People don't know what they want. I like when I was sitting in that networking course, and then I was like, I should take marketing because like I'm making this clothing line while I'm sitting learning about networking, and I don't care about networking. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, if I take this marketing course, it'll show me how to like create lines mm-hmm. of clothing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that there's a genuine interest. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like that's what people don't have nowadays. They don't have general interest about anything. Uh, you know, not like, that they don't have anything. No, no, no. no. You know, I'm about to spit it. So, yeah. so check it out. So, that's what, that's, you're right. Because you were like, no, not that. So, I heard this amazing podcast. I forgot what it was called. Oh, it was Shep- Shepherd Fairy. I forgot what the podcast I think it was like a hype beast podcast. And he was saying, like, He's like, when people say nowadays that they don't have genuine interests or like, how do I find something that I love? He's like, you're probably already doing it. You just don't know you're doing it. Oh, I see. See what I'm saying? Is that where you were going to go with it? Because it's like, it's like, oh, like I need to find something I love. But you just spent four hours learning that skate trick, bro. Like maybe pursue that. Yeah, but then there's like no money in it. Right. There's no money in it until there's money in it. Yeah, but then... Not everyone can be broke for so long. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. But it's about, there are many ways to the top of the mountain. How do you get there? So here's here's an example. So it's like, I'm really into skate tricks. So you learn a bunch of skate tricks. Then all of a sudden you start learning about like trucks. Like trucks are the things on the skateboard. Mm. And you're like, man, I should just manufacture this. Oh, how does manufacturing work? Oh, all of a sudden I've just created a whole line of manufactured trucks. You know, it doesn't have to be the manufacturing thing. Manufacturing what? Trucks. Like these like little screws. We'll just call them like widgets. Sure. You know what a widget is? Yeah, widget, like a little, like a ball bearing on a, like on a screw. No, I know widget as a computer widget thing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's not that. I know, we, okay, we that's fine, that's fine, whatever. The screws. Right. Screws, all for, right. For the board. Yeah, yeah all, right, all right, for the board. So you're like, you're like, you spend like four hours skateboarding and you're like, there's no money in that. You're right, there's no money in that. But then you learn peripheries to it. So it's like, oh, mm-hmm. how does the skateboard get made? And all of a sudden you learn like, oh, these screws, man, there'd be a more efficient way to create this screw. And you create an efficient way to create the screw. Then you're like, oh, okay, like, why don't I just sell this to people? Oh, okay. but you just like learn engineering, yeah, and marketing. Okay, you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it doesn't have to be the thing that you're most interested in. Like, all right, so perfect example. I used to play in bands, right? Obsessed with it. I I believed I was gonna be a rock star. Didn't become a rock star, but what did I learn? I learned about timing, music timing. That's how I can make these videos to the beat. 
Because I'm like listening to it, I'm like, okay, there's when the audio should come in. Okay, there's when I should cut to the next scene. Yeah. Here's a transition. Oh no, that's like a that's a half step off. You gotta bring it back. Oh no, it's a bit too long. You gotta bring it forward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you learn things, periphery things. You don't know where you're gonna end up, but it's like, but just by pursuing your passions, you, you'll like come up with something in the end. Yeah. But the point of these things are to know where you're gonna end up. But having an unknown is becomes a problem. That's that's the craziness of society. But it's like we're just not comfortable in the unknown. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like. I, I, but you got to go through the suck, you know, like people don't know that like I spent like you're like, you're like, oh, yeah, you're a marketer now. That's great. Oh, you did martial arts. That's great. Like, no, dude, I spent so many days like bummed out being like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's, you got to go through the suck. So then when you're bored, it's almost like people are trying to fill their time without boredom now. So it's like when I was bored, I would just lie in my room. And just be like, wow, this sucks. I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. And life seems meaningless. There's no path to go anywhere. Oh, hey, like, I'm really interested in this. Like, I, that's where I created, like, TMB, the website. I'm like, well, I should, like, look at positivity. All right, cool. Like, maybe I can, like, create, like, a little bulletin board to remind myself of positive things every day. And I started to make that website. Yeah. You know? But it's like, you got to go through the suck. And I feel like people... When things suck, they just fill their time with things that don't matter to fill their time to not feel that they suck. Like they're filling the void. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I'm so bored right now. All right, let me just get like a job to get money to not feel like I'm wasting my time. Okay, let me just like watch this show to make me feel like I'm not wasting my time. Let me just like, let me just like go on a shopping spree to make it feel like I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, no, you got to make it, you got to feel that you're wasting your time because in feeling that you're wasting your time, you're going to figure out something that's not a waste of time. Okay. Like K- Casey Neistat said, like, the best thing you, or the, see, Athena agrees. Uh, Casey Neistat said, like, the best thing you could do <laughs> is protecting us from the demons. Exactly, exactly. So Casey Neistat said, he's like, <laughs> she's, she's giving us Chill. lessons. She's giving us lessons. Hold on, hold on. That's all good. It's all, all right, true, true. All right, so anyways, Casey Neistat said that the best thing you can do is like not, is do like the worst job, right? Because like he washed dishes and he's like, oh man, washing dishes, washing dishes sucks so bad. Oh, she's good now. She's drinking water. She's clearing her throat. Mm. Getting her for, uh, ready for another round of barking. Uh, so Casey and I said, he's like, the best thing you can do is like do a job that you hate because it'll force you to do something you like. So he washed dishes and he's like, man, this sucks for like a year or something. And then he's like, I'm just going to buy a camera because like I want to create videos. Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like, I feel like that's, but not everyone. But this field is creative field, right? I don't know if everyone's. But I creative. feel like everyone's creative. I feel like everyone's creative. Yeah, but like sometimes, you know, it, again, you don't know where the future would go, right? Like, he, I mean, his success is on YouTube. If YouTube didn't exist, then what? Exactly. No, but so that's what I'm saying. There's many ways to the top of the mountain. It's like the skateboarder who's outside practicing their trick. It's like, oh, you're going nowhere. It's like, dude, but you're gonna learn something. You're going to keep going and then you're going to figure something out out of this thing. But if you don't spend your time doing things, you're going to be bored. And you're going to be like, oh, you're not bored. You're going to be like actually lost with no way out. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's almost like if you're lost, just keep walking. The forward. thing is, yeah, the thing is like we made this all up, right? What do you mean? Like, oh, society and yeah. like jobs and stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like totally we're so. just meant to just hunt and sit and hunt. I mean, hunt, eat, sit. True, but the way I'm looking at it is like yeah. these are the rules of the game we're we're in. So it's like find something that's no, that's what I'm saying. So we, you, yeah, not everyone's gonna get that. Totally, and that's totally. why. But, but that, that's why you get like a lot of angst. They're like, oh, I hate my life. There's like midlife crisis. Why? Because you're like, yeah. my life sucks. I spent like 40 years doing nothing mm-hmm. that I care about, and it's like, yeah, because you should have spent your time trying to figure out things that you cared about. Right. It's like, I, the analogy would be like if you're walking in like a dark room and you know there's an exit 
there's a mm-hmm. lot of people that would there's people that'll keep walking they might hit some walls but they'll eventually find the exit and there are people like i'm just gonna sit in this dark room okay you know what i'm saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah and it's like we need people to be courageous enough to keep walking mm-hmm. you know or else like or not really that because it's like really i just don't care about your like like we're we're all trapped in a dark room bro if you want to sit, you're going to sit, but I'm going to keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but oh, we, man, my, sometimes funniest, we might yeah. need people that need to just sit. I don't know. We, true. Cause That's what I'm, like, then who would make the obstacles yeah. on the ground as walking? <laughs> it would be less fun. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. I had the funniest, like, I heard, I, I don't know, this is going to, like, if you're listening, well, I'm sure you're not going to listen to this. Yeah. But, like, if you're listening to this and then you're like, oh, he's talking about me. Sucks to suck, bro. Watch what you say. But so yeah. this is the funniest thing. So this dude was like, like, oh, yeah, you know BJ? And like, um, they're like, yeah, oh, man. Like, what do you think? Oh, he's kind of stuck up. And I'm like, oh, okay. well, all right. First of all, I was like, what? like my sister was telling me. And I'm like, like, bro, <laughs> I'm like, that just shows your insecurity that you care so much about what I think yeah. to be like, you're stuck up. I don't even care about your existence. <laughs> so it's like, why are you, you have an opinion about me? Yeah. Because, well, but I know this person that like believes in stuff. I'm like, it's like, oh, why is he stuck up? Oh, because he doesn't want to like meet a bunch of people. Like, I'm just trying to be out here. And I'm like, no, I don't like you, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, we're, keep your circle small. But the funny thing is he's stuck up because he got a small circle. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, dude, I don't want to deal with your problem. If we were friends, I'd be dealing with that problem right now mm-hmm. of like you wanting to come to me with some like ridiculousness. It's like, you only have an attention span of so little to give to people. Yeah. It's like, I, I can put up with a lot of BS but I'll only put up with a lot of BS for people that I feel like are worth putting up with a lot of BS for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like we live together. Me and Tara live together. Me and I t- interact with my friends and fam, like my family and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like, there's always things. And it's like, yeah, but I have infinite patience. Not that you're like terrible to live with, but I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, it's like, imagine if you had to do that for like 20 million people. Yeah. I don't understand why people want millions of friends. You just have to deal with that crap all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those are different kinds of people out there. So, Those are the people that need to latch on to other people in order to feel some sort of validation. But if I'm deriving the validation from myself, I can pick and choose who I want to be around me. So it's not stuck up. It's just pragmatic. Yeah. Well, maybe his... Yeah, but again, maybe there's a reason why he has to be... Like, you know what I mean? Like... Someone has to be something, right? True. <laughs> True. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what he is? He's content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, right there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got to spin it, you know? True, true, true. But, yeah. But there, but there's another one yeah, with, yeah. like, a junk degree. Because I know, I know about his life. <laughs> so I'm like, of course you're going to feel like this. Dude, you got a junk degree. Mm. Mm. But, like, you know, it wouldn't. Maybe you'd be a little happier, willing to talk to other people aside from focusing on my life, if you had something going on in your life. We wouldn't be talking about this. You, I'd, I'd see you over there like you're doing right, something right, sick. Right, I'm like, right, that's right. sick, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. That's also why I don't want to be friends. Like, like you know, people are like, oh, famous people want to be friends with famous people. It's like, no, I would never want to be like. I love Joe Rogan, but I wouldn't want to be his friend because, like, dude, I like what you're doing. You keep doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be over here with my people doing this okay you know what i'm saying it's like uh yeah i think that's the heart of the problem people just are dissatisfied and in this dissatisfaction i think that's why they created god you know it's like what's going on what is this life right well yeah but but think no but it's the same it's the same insecurity yeah Right, think about it. It's like it's like I don't know why we're here. Yeah. Oh, I'm so oh, like, like what yeah. am I doing mm-hmm. with my life? Oh, I'm gonna create this thing called God, and then that thing that's called God is going to like give me guidance. Why? Oh, things happen for a reason. Mm. You know, like oh, my my family got slaughtered in the middle of the night by like wolves. Things happen for a reason. You know, it's like a shifting blame. Mm-hmm. But like, 
I think at the core of it is like if you just face it, you wouldn't have to shift blame. You just be like, "This is what happened." Right. And like that's that's why you get things like, "Why should you even go to school?" That shouldn't even be a question, bro. Like you know, like should I go to university or not go to university? I don't know. Do you like? Do you need it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Well, I mean, what's also happening now is too many people are going to university that you need more degrees. Like you exactly. need a master's, you need this, you need that. Like, we're we're all looking for a to get specific jobs. So. Totally, we're all looking for a, uh, like an, a guiding force so that we don't have to think too much. We want our lives to be like dictated for us. Mm-hmm. We we want laziness out of life, but life isn't about being lazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But all right, so then now the question becomes like, well, then how do I do it? Like, you know, like I I agree with you and I don't want to just have a junk degree. Mm-hmm. So like let me do something worthy with my life. How do I find something worthy? It's like like you know people are like, "Oh, there's no education." Like all right, so like it's like I really want to do this, but how do I do it? Well, you'll find a way. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, I wanted to play in bands, okay? Mm-hmm. So I, I was like, okay, what are the steps? All right, let me buy a bunch of gear. Okay, I need to learn how to play the gear. Okay, what does a band look like on stage? So I used to watch like live, I still watch live shows because I find them entertaining. But like I watched like YouTube videos or like back before that was like LimeWire and I would download LimeWire like live shows and I'd watch like how Blink-182 plays live. And I'd start mimicking that. So when we were playing live, I'd like pretend like I was them. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, or like you, it's like, how do you get the streaming box service to work? Or I'm just going to YouTube it and like, oh, okay, this is software I need. Okay, like, let me go buy this and like, let me test it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's ways to learn things yeah. out there. So, or, or else, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I always get hit with like questions, like while I'm working, like for clients or like just working in general. And it's like, oh, how do you do this? I'm like, Google. Like, oh, hey, I need you to fix this problem. I'm like, all right, quick. Just, so I just Google it. Like, how do you fix the problem? Yeah. It usually comes up and I just follow the steps. You know what I'm saying? But it's like without learning how to learn or learning the value of learning, then what have you got? Mm-hmm. Except just a person who's sitting around waiting for the answer to be solved for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so then, who, oh, right. no, no, go ahead, go ahead. But so, who, who's to blame? Like, is that a society thing, or is that like a person thing, or is that like a? I don't know if it's just anyone really to blame. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like, with these kinds of things, it's like, I think with all blame, it's all about like taking ownership. I mean, yeah, you, you know should I mean? be like, your own thing. What do you mean, like your own? Like, because instead of being like. Who's to blame? It's almost like you should just be like, oh, let's just fix it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you get caught in the whole thing of like, it's your fault, it's my fault, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, how do we just move forward from this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't, yeah, if you're stuck in that, that's not good. Just blaming. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the whole like... It's I, not really productive. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're really not going to get, you're really, you're really not going to get any answers from it. No. You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I think we're in a weird world. Well, the world is always weird. Weird. But like, but the with the blaming thing, it's like it's interesting too because like you hear that. I used to watch so many videos about like how the school system was bad while I was in university. That's why I didn't like. I was like, I was like the rebel that was like getting good grades, but I was like, oh, this sucks though. But it's like, but you're getting good grades. It's like, yeah, but because we need to, so. You know what I mean? But, like... Right. I mean, it... it but, like... It, yeah. yeah. No, I, like... There's different types of schools, too. Like, yeah, we only talk about the way ours is, but, like, Europe uh, is, like, you know, if you want to go into... Like, generally, like, people think, oh, being a carpenter or being this... They viewed it badly, right? Yeah. But it's, like, it's a trade that you can potentially make. You, if you like it, doing that, it's a way to make a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. It, it's like an ele- that's probably what it is. It, it's like an electrician, though. But you're, you're right. Because it's like, no, there's a lot of things that make a lot of money. What I think it is is we got sold a bill of goods. Like, it's like, oh, if you want to be smart, you got to go to university. 
Mm-hmm. So they started like pumping this narrative yeah. into like society about like going to university. I mean, that's why I think it was Germany that has like that kind of thing where you have the choice of which direction to go and if you want to go more into that depth into that field that you're in you could go into university like yeah yeah, yeah. or I, I you can go guy. into the trades like that's 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 what it is right i, I met this guy i think yeah, i forgot where he's from like holland or something yeah but he's like he's like oh i'm picking my my stream because mm-hmm. like in in there it's like they have like three major streams of like science law or like forgot what the or business Mm-hmm. And then from there, once you pick their stream, then it it's more like it's more like direct. Yeah. Whereas like here, it's so open. That's why you have like infinite degrees. Like I should get a degree in like anthropology of technology, mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. like that. You know, like yeah. I'm gonna see how like technology has affected the way we live as a society. It's like that's cool, but what are you gonna do with that degree? Mm-hmm. You know, um, and like there it's more like because it's stream so it's almost like maybe being streamlined is better because right. you're yeah. cause, cause they probably understand like oh confusion sets it. it's almost it's like marketing too it's like if you give a consumer too many choices like if you give them 10 choices as opposed to two you're more likely to get a sale from two two choices than 10 because like if they have two, it's like, okay, one yeah. or the other. But if you have 10, then they're going to get confused. They're like, I'm going to come back. That's me. Yeah, true. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I hate somebody like, yo, just keep it simple. Yeah, that, that's a that's a business principle. So, yeah. like, they probably figured that's that out. Like Apple. <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. Yeah. One type of phone. Exa- totally, totally. Yeah, simplicity is key. But yeah. I feel like that's what they have with, like, these universities in Europe where it's like, no, you're going to do this and this will lead to this, this will lead to this. Like, it's already mapped out, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, we want, like, freedom. It's almost like beware what you want. Right. Because you just might get it. Mm-hmm. You know? Because, like, here we're like, we want infinite choices. It's like, okay, here's your infinite choices. You know? And then it's like, we're just messed up. It's sort of like you, you want, like, an Android. And you're like, oh, I'm getting, like, a lot of viruses on my Android. No, duh. Because you got an Android, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, if we had an Apple, which is, like, a streamlined system, it's mm-hmm. like this will lead to this, this will lead to this, and you get no bugs. Right. Because it's like, we've mitigated for that. Yeah. You know? Everyone's got their place in society. Mm-hmm. But again, it goes back to like, I think North America is like just super new. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, we're, like we'll, we'll head days. in the direction of Europe. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, we just got to make all those mistakes happen. First. True, yeah. And then we'll get there. And then it'll be the turn, like, it'll become... The, like China and India's turn to be like North America's. True, yeah. And then head in the same path again after. Like, you know what I mean? Just yeah. cycle. Yeah, to- totally. It's, um, they're the BRIC countries Brazil, Russia, India, China. Yeah. I learned about that in school. And it was like, it's funny because I keep saying, like, throughout these podcasts, I learned about that in school. And, and you'd, <laughs> yeah. probably, you'd probably think, like, oh, he probably just graduated. No, that was like years ago, bro. Right. But it's just like, but see, this is where it comes from. It's like, I, I took a degree that I was genuinely interested in. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, of course I'm going to pull stuff up that I thought was cool because I thought a lot of it was cool. Yeah, when you find something that you're really interested in, you do, uh, like, end, end up remembering more about it. Yeah, and you that's excel in it. Yeah. That, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, you just got to find what, you're, what you like. Yeah. Totally, totally. And, and these people who are complaining about, like, I don't know what I should take and all that. It's like, before even doing that, just like, who are you as a person, bro? Because mm-hmm. if you figure out who you are and the things that you like genuinely enjoy and like, you'll, you'll most likely figure out where you're going to go. Or yeah. at least the direction of it. Yeah. You know? True. Yeah. But it's like, but it's uncertainties. Like me traveling, me like working in those small companies. Like, I didn't think that was gonna go anywhere. Mm-hmm. My my dad even said to me today, he's like, I thought you were gonna be like a, like a, like a. He's got like a terrible like Filipino to English like translation. <laughs> so like, but it's like he's basically saying like, I thought you were just gonna be like a waste, you know, doing nothing. Right. You know, and it's like. Yeah, but I, I, but I was like, yeah, but dad, I always had my foot in it. Like I knew where I was going the whole time. Right, right. But it doesn't look like that from but the outside, No, it doesn't right? look like that. Yeah, no, no, but, yeah. but there's a lot of people that like, they also don't know what they're doing and it looks crazy. So, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, I always had like a plan because I was like, I know what I like. 
Yeah. But, like, I always tell people if, like, you don't know what it is that you want to do with your life, at least take business. Because it's so universal. Everything is run off business that, like, it'll help you in the long run. Mm-hmm. But that's why I feel like it was a catch-all for me. Because it was, like, it's the, it's the lowest of the high, in my opinion. Right. You know? Unless you're doing something like accounting and finance. Because, like, those are just, like, you need to. Unless you like numbers. Yeah, but see, the thing with, like, accounting and finance, for me, is, like, accounting rules differ across the world. Yeah. So I didn't want to learn something that's not universal. That's why I like marketing, because, like, well, everyone gets, like, manipulated all the time. Yeah, but you can learn about the principles. The accounting yeah, of course, you, of course. Yeah. yeah, but it's, like, but I wouldn't be, like, so, like, if I had my CPA here, and then I went to, like, Brazil to work, they'd be, like, okay, but you're a CPA in Canada, but you're not a CPA here. I think they would take that. Maybe all right, all right. Bad, bad example. All right, let, let's go. Let's go flip side. I, I'm a CPA in Brazil, but I'm not a CPA in Canada. Yeah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help, right? But like, if you're in Brazil and you're like, I sold twenty million pairs of this, they'd be like, Oh, we're gonna hire you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know something we don't know. Right. You know what I mean? It's universal because human nature. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's a sad. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's, but you know what's funny about all this? Like, when I listen to people talk about this, mm-hmm. I all, first, all right, first of all, when I listen to people talk about this, people don't like the truth. It's like very salty. Like, I was like, oh, so why are you taking it? You know, like, uh, oh, this, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, that, that reminds me of the other thing we were talking about. Um, but so, so I was like, so why are you taking it? They're like, well, I need the degree. So I'm like, all right, perfect. So you know why you're taking it. So why are you complaining? Right. You know, it's like, oh, like, that's negative. But it's like, no, it's just <sighs> looking at the freaking truth, bro. Like, do you need it or not? Right. Yes? All right, go do it. No? All right, well, you shouldn't be doing it then, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but, what? well, first of all, that was like a, that's like an age-old thing. Like, what we just talked about, like, every year. Like, when I heard this conversation, and I'm like, wow, I've been out of school for like 10 years now. And I'm like, those are the same things I was talking about back then. Like mm-hmm. It just seems to ne- never change. Like, oh, everyone's got to get a university degree. Oh, everyone, like, I don't even like what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. Like, those are, like, that's always been there. Yeah. You know, it's not new. No. So the problem is you think it's new to your mind, so you're complaining to me about something that I've already experienced. So it's almost like... Yeah. Like, that's why I have no sympathy for it, because it's like, no, no, that's... I do have sympathy for it. I'm like, no, that does suck. Right, right. But it's right. like, realize that you're not alone. So quit complaining, bro. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other thing is like, when, when people overly focus on things that aren't related to class, that's just weird to me. When they're like, oh, like, like the services should be cheaper at school or like, I should, <laughs> you know, like, I had to wait in line to, you know, print out my assignment in the library they should have 20 more printers or you should just take the initiative to either buy a printer or go to staples right you know what i'm saying it's like i don't understand why people complain so heavily about universities it's just you're really going there to get the piece of paper Mm -hmm. so why are you overly focusing on the service right 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 yeah, 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 yeah and like you you're like you've never used a service at school right no yeah I think I've used like the gym because I was like, oh, it's free. It's a part of my membership. Did I, um, not, no, no, I didn't really use anything. No. Yeah, you didn't use anything, right? So it's like because you knew what you were there for. You're not there to go to school to use the service. No. You're there to go to school to educate yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. It seems kind of like silly <laughs> to complain about something so superfluous. You know, it's like. I guess so, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Like, I remember, like, even bringing this up to you, you're like, who complains about that? You know, it's like, what? There were services? Maybe it's because I was just because what I was in, right? Like, just you focus too much on studying engineering. You just don't have time for that stuff. I guess. Well, they do say that. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what gets me? This is, this is like, crazy. <laughs> I always, like, when I was in business school, we'd always talk about the engineering people. Like, oh, the engineering people, oh, they think they're so smart. Oh, they're so stuck up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
oh, they, they think they're so smart. They're like nerds. It's like, all right, you take the course, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, dude, it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's, yeah. Oh, engineering people don't have any lives. Oh, they don't. To do what? To party with you? Bro, this person's going to get a job. And mm-hmm. what are you going to do? Right. Recap your partying sessions? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, university wasn't made for you to go there and party or, like, have a... You know, be like, I want my university experience to be such a great one. It's like, what are we talking about, bro? We're here to get a degree and an education so that we can get a job after. Yeah. It's the hard facts, though. Like, you know, I didn't even like hearing that. Like, I, to- mm. I had to tell myself that. I'm like, no, bro, you're here to do this. Like, what? Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I remember when I was, like, in university and they'd be like, hey, do you want to party after? Well, I did it one time. I, like, went to the bar right before class and I got, like, a little drunk. And I was, like, sitting in the front. I was like, oh, damn, this sucks. But, like, like when they're like, oh, you should party with us, like, after mm-hmm. class and stuff. I'm like, that's money, bro. And I should really be studying. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. all you do is study. You'll never have lived a life. Bro, that's, that's why we're here, bro. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny yeah I just like it's just it's just like bewildering to me yeah, yeah, yeah. no yeah, yeah yeah I mean engineering is tough it's not that easy yeah I can imagine yeah I just like that's not for me you gotta build stuff that uh, doesn't fall <laughs> yeah or there else you you're in, or you're, just, you're in trouble yeah yeah so it's like huge trouble yeah. I feel like it's also about longevity, too. It's like, who has the last laugh? So all those people that were making fun of those people that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, oh, they never learned how to live life while in university. It's like, what are you doing now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, even saying that, it's like, I still, like, <laughs> it's funny, like, even saying that, it's like, I still took the rebellious path of, like, not pursuing that right away Mm -hmm. you know like i didn't get a job in like the business field at all until like literally the past year yeah so it's like it's like what do you want out of it Mm -hmm. you you, it like you know i mean the focus has to be solid Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i don't know yeah final thoughts um, I don't know actually. <laughs> do you think that like? Do you think this will ever be solved? No. Yeah. You think we'll always forever be in this predicament of like? Well, what about your universal basic income? Uh. Well, I guess. I mean, the, the we have a idea of what that could do. We don't know if that could do. What I feel we like, think it's going to do. Like now that I think about it, like it might just create a bunch of lazy people. Maybe, maybe not. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's already a lot of lazy people. I don't think it's going to make more, technically more lazy people. I just think it might give opportunities to people that didn't have opportunities. You know what I just realized? So it's like, because you're like, well, there's no money in, like, skateboarding. Mm. Okay. Let's say we start making money off this podcast. Yeah. All right. It was made off of playing video games. Yeah. So it's like, what do you mean? Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know like, what you're saying. Like, yeah. it's, it's like, no, there's many paths to the top of the mountain. You just got to keep climbing or, like, walk in this direction. Yeah, no, no, I'm sure not saying. it doesn't work out. It's yeah, like, but I'm not, uh, not, it just won't happen to everyone. That's just what I'm saying. No, totally. No, it won't. That's what I'm yeah, saying. No, yeah, no, it yeah, won't. Yeah. It, or it just won't look like. What it is people yeah. expecting. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, with the video game thing, if you think about it, like, like Twitch streamers, right? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you need to have... Oh, there, there's a perfect example. Forget this podcast example. The Twitch people that make, like, a lot of money. They're like, oh, dude, you're never going to make money playing video games. Dude, tell that to Twitch people. Yeah. But then there's a lot of people that do that don't make a lot of money. True. So do you, there's, like... Uh, to Even to be on Twitch, you have the platform now. You have to have a... Now there's so many people on there, you have to be different than everybody else. But think like, about also thing. even the knowledge associated with Twitch. You have to learn how to, like, even get it going. Yeah. 
Like, I, I have no idea what it is that you do technologically to get this podcast up and running. Yeah. I just talk and, like, do designs. Right. And, like, upload it. No, you upload it, but I, like, upload the clip art. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, like, from that perspective, it's, like, the person that has to do both of our jobs mm-hmm. is learning a lot. Yeah. You know, that, that's why it's, like, so just go do it. But the thing is, like, once you become big, you don't do it yourself anymore. Totally. No, totally. totally, totally, totally. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, like let's say you're like, oh, I really like playing video games. Like, let me just see if I can do this Twitch thing. Oh, but there's no money in it. It's like, don't let don't let the possibility of failure discourage you because you'll learn something along the way. Yeah. Right? It's like, in putting together this, you'll have learned something about hardware and software and, like, building a platform and, like, marketing and, like, time management. You'll learn a bunch of things just by doing things. But if you just, like, don't do anything, then, like, you're just stagnant, mm. you know? Right? Because, again, back to the thing about, like, well, the skateboarder's not going to make any money. It's like, yeah, but he'll learn something. Right. So it's like, sure, you won't make money. You might not make money, like, playing video games, but you might. Mm-hmm. But even if you don't, you'll have learned something along the way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That question's been bothering me for a while. <laughs> so uh, I th- hear like next week is like Lion King. Is it next yeah, week? Lion King is it next week? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we're gonna, are we gonna watch it right away. Uh, if we can, yeah. All right, true. So expect either that podcast or not. Yeah. We apologize for our dog. Uh, maybe she'll make an appearance on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Till next time. <laughs> Yes. She's gonna give you something super wise and leave you off with that. Go. Uh. T- uh. T- I, don't, I don't know, man. I really didn't have anything for this one. All right, I gotta quit school and just be a backpacker, and just like oh, like this old guy. Be like a vag- vagabond. Just be a vagabond and travel the world, and then give up all your money and then fall into a cult because the cult leader. Actually, no, I do have something. Oh yeah, I go. Yeah, just go learn how to live in the wild again. True. You know what? Oh, dude, that's so funny. Actually, hold on. We're not over. (laughs) So that's so funny. When you're like, let's just go live in the wild. It's like, dude, society sucks, bro. We shouldn't be like, all right, go live in the wild, bro. You want want to fend for yourself? Go ahead. You like supermarkets? Oh, Oh, you like complaining about how bad society is on social media? Maybe you gotta accept the fact that we're in this predicament, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I know, I know, like, like we harp on it all the time, but it's like, at the same time, I'm very appreciative of society. Yeah. Even, like, wars, even things down to wars. Wars are terrible, right? Mm-hmm. But you have to look at the duality of the situation. Without that war, there might be some craziness going on over here. Like, we don't know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh right. the, the oil companies are running this, and, like, the, the war machines are running this. It's like, okay, but if those weren't in place, it's like power vacuums. Like how when they took out Saddam Hussein, ISIS took over. Yeah. It, yeah. That could happen. So yeah. it's like, oh, I don't like the society that we're living in. Structure shouldn't be like this. All right, take it out. Boom, you got a vacuum. Who's going to fill the void? Probably the one with the biggest gun. Right? Fear. Right. We're going to go back to fear tactics. We're not going to be an enlightened society. This is insanity. When people are like, oh, we need to abolish this society. We got to become an enlightened one. Okay, we abolish the society. Okay, the dude with the biggest knife is going to tell you what to do. Okay, so well, there is always going to be people that are extremes like that, that speak like but, that. But so it's pretty freaking good that we have people who are stopping those people. Yeah, I mean, most people are not like that, right? I mean, but like, no, most people are not. No, yeah, agree. That's not saying. But not. the person with the biggest knife is going to be like, "Hey, you all got to do what I want because I got the biggest knife." Right. But, you know, there are ways that's, there's always going to be like that. It's, 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 it's been like that in society for a long time, and how, that's how change happens slowly. Exactly, exactly. No, totally, totally, totally. But what I'm saying is, like, you don't, you don't let go of the society. Yeah. You don't revert it back to, like, nothingness. Yeah, yeah. But, again, it's, you know, it's funny, because it's, like, you got to think about, like, where, where the whole path of this journey, because, like, people are like, oh, you probably just didn't think about it correct. I'm like, no, bro. I literally, I was with you guys. I was on your team. We were on the same team. I was like, we need a conscious society 
of super enlightened beings that like understand how emotions work and like work together together as one is one synchronous like system <laughs> that's filled of filled with like love and understanding right we, mm-hmm. need, we need oneness i was on that team and then i was like wait a minute pragmatically speaking that wouldn't work no it's so it's like i'm possible. not i'm not it's like not, you're not, I'm not harping for i'm not harping on you guys <laughs> right yeah for like being like oh you guys are dumb no no i like went down that path i understood it and then i was like that's actually the wrong path because right. we'd have power vacuums like even if you guys were filled with love and understanding Think about the Shaolin monks. This is a great example. Shaolin monks were like, we're going to be an enlightened society up in the mountains. Yeah. A bunch of bandits came, robbed them, killed a bunch of people. They're like, wow, we really need to learn martial arts. And they came up with Shaolin Kung Fu. Yeah. Where did that come from? From being beaten up. So it's like, mm-hmm. no, you need war, bro. You need, you need struggle. You need like warriors. We can't all be peacekeepers. Because then the person that stands up and is like, I'm not a peacekeeper, I'm a warrior. Well, I mean, gonna take all uh, the peacekeepers. I mean, no, I'm just saying, yeah, go ahead, be peacekeepers. China and India will take over the world. To, it told. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's it's totally. Gonna, exactly. Gonna, there you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect example. It's like, oh, we just need to stop all this war and we need to, like, create a world full of love. Yeah. It's like, all right, cool. And then the ones that are not thinking that way are going to be like, suckers. Yeah. Completely take you over. Yeah. But again, it's a reality situation. It's like you you guys are ignorant. You don't really understand. It's like, no, you just don't understand. You got to look at both sides. Like, why is this this way? That's why I said you got to study business. You got to go down the rabbit hole of yoga and martial arts to understand about spirituality and enlightenment. Then you got to go all the way in the rabbit hole of business and be like, wait, this wouldn't work. Like, mm-hmm. we should live in a commune of people that are a collective society, and we should share our things. We should have a communal garden built on love and trust, right. and everyone gets free food. Bro, I don't want to sleep in the same room as you. He described Steve Jobs right there, because he did exactly all that. He's that that's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's the, he, <laughs> totally. People don't realize this. People are like, oh, like, economics and stuff. No, Steve Jobs totally did that. I read his bio. I watched his movies. You did too. And we were like, I love Steve Jobs. He, he went like, way into that field and he went into way into the business field too. And yeah. then he's like, wait, we need a medium, bro. But that's the path of the Buddha. The Buddha's like, go left, go right, and then you'll meet in the middle. Mm. Like, it's the middle way. Right. You know? Yeah. That's, and when people are like, oh, you're like very Buddhist in your thing, it's like, yeah, because I understand duality. Like, mm-hmm. That's it. That's all it is. It's just like there's good and bad in this world. But to realize that good and bad are just byproducts of your own perspective. Yeah. Because like one person that's being killed. I just read this Joel book and it's like all the people that hate America, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you could probably have a good reason because like, I just looked at all these pictures of like bombings and stuff and like whatever. And then it's like, well, it wasn't them. It was like ISIS. But still, it's like what created that, you know? the power vacuum and then like yeah. and then there's like drone strikes and stuff and it's like like on our side we're like oh yeah fight for freedom and then like on their side they're like oh damn you you're killing us but if things were reversed you'd be just as pissed yeah so it's like dualities bro mm-hmm. but then if you didn't have that going on then the people that did have that power from a different country then they're like we need to like transfer over we need struggle to bring us all together oh uh, yeah that's true like if like th- they always say like if there was an alien attack which is kind of ironic because there's like a lot of like alien stuff going on right now but if there was like an alien attack i'm not really in my world but okay in in like in the actual news news like cnn's talking about it yeah but i thought they would have been talking about it here and there like like i just never come across it my world is not. That's what I'm saying. He's, no, you're stuck up, bro. Oh. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm stuck up because I just keep my circle small. Bro, relax. <laughs> you need to do other things with your life. Mm. So anyways, no, that's great. Actually, I didn't even know that there was a hurricane going on. I was at my parents' house. I didn't know that. Yeah, there you go. I was at my parents' house. like oh, Bartholomew or something. It's like, like, what? I forgot the name of the hurricane. Okay. forgot. It starts with a B, though. Barry? But we don't necessarily need to know what's happening everywhere. 
Totally, totally. But what I'm getting at is like, yeah. What I'm getting at, my original yeah, yeah, yeah. point was that we need a universal thing of aliens, like to bring us all together. Mm-hmm. But even that, some people would be like, "I'm with the aliens," and other people, are like, I'm not oh, with I the see, aliens. I see. You know, I mean? like, uh, they're always going to be someone with the aliens. Have you not seen the movies? No. Oh, there's people like that. Oh, they would, would rather. Switch sides, easy. Yeah, see, like... I see, I see it all the time in shows. So stuff. we're never going to get this, like, peace. You know why? Because there's no peace in our hearts. <laughs> we're monkeys. But that's really what it is. But we've just created this thing that's called strife. You know, struggle. It's like, it's, they're just ideas, bro. Yeah. They're not really... Like, like monkeys, they, like, battle other tribes. Right, but they don't think about it. They don't think of it as evil. They're like, that's the tribe I gotta kill. Yeah, but it's only us who are like, oh, this is good. This is. I think bad. we're doing the same thing. <laughs> what with his talk? No, 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 no. We do the same thing. With kill other, oh, kill other things. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's like the monkey doesn't think about it. The monkey's not like good and evil. It's just like I need to go do this, right? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not a monkey, so maybe it's thinking good and evil. Who knows? But, no, I mean, it's thinking for its tribe. Yeah, for its tribe, bro. Yeah. So it's like, but that goes back to the whole, like, countries are, like, built like gangs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we stop the war, it's like, that somebody else is going to want to fight eventually. Someone wants those resources. Resources, think, all right, just think about this. They're like, if we stop the war... The people in the desert country are like, dude, I want to be on that land that looks really nice with the lush greenery and like whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, then they're probably going to come take it. Mm-hmm. Where's your love and understanding then? How do you be like, yo, you know, we don't want you to be over here because <laughs> right. there's not enough room. Mm. You know, it's like the whole like limited, re- like if we're in a house, like infinite resources, like if there, there's no such thing as infinite resources, thus there's no such thing as like love and understanding. Right. Because if we're in a house with six rooms and there's seven people, mm-hmm. somebody's got to share. Right, yeah. And that person's going to be pissed that they had to share. Mm. So where's your love and understanding then? Right. Yeah, true. But if you want the love and understanding, don't even stay in the house. Just give your room up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, why are you here mm-hmm. then? If you really want love and understanding, don't live in society. And which would be great because we probably wouldn't even hear from you because you wouldn't have a cell phone. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you wouldn't have a coat or a lighter or a hat <laughs> or a car. Right. Or anything that society has brought to you because you don't like society. Mm. See what I'm saying? It's like, no, you have to appreciate society because like, these are the things that you're harping on but you also like. Right. You know? Mm. But but then society will never change. That's the other thing. It's like people are like, oh, society will never change if we don't like harp on it. It's like, yeah, that's your battle then. If you feel so strongly about society having to change in your favor, which we must understand is very egoic, then feel free to do that. But it's not a negative thing to be like egoic. Like if they were like killing children on the street, I think I would be like, okay, let me stand up for this too. But it's like you got to pick and choose your battles. Mm-hmm. So it's like, do you really believe in it? If you do, if you really believe in like stopping world hunger, maybe you should be in like Africa in a plane and not here complaining about world hunger. Right. Wow, that was like dark. That went super dark. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know what happened there. What happened there? <laughs> I just went into a wormhole of like just <laughs> negativity. Yeah, it's not neg- reality. It's not negativity. All right, so next week <laughs> we're talking about movies. Yeah, uh, next Lion week King. is Lion King. That's the most heartfelt movie ever. Yeah, but I bet you that Simba, oh, new Mufasa. We already saw it. There's no such thing as love and understanding, even in his kingdom, because Scar was cheesed. Yeah. Think about that. And Simba killed Scar. Because Scar killed his father. Sometimes killing is the right thing to do. Where's the forgiveness, though, bro? Where's the love and understanding then? Mm. Should have welcome him back. Actually, didn't he arms. forgive him though? How he was died. he not gonna kill him until until like 
he tried to like he let him go. Okay, I remember then, from the original. And then what? Well, Scar wasn't gonna stop it, so he had to stop him finally. Bro, you could have stopped it. No. Word. All right. I don't know. Till next, till next time. <laughs> that'll be next. Next. That'll week. be. Yeah, that'll be next video. We'll just rip <laughs> on that one. But see, this content. I love. I love society because it gives us content. All right. Till next time. Take it easy. Be one with. I call it later. Okay. Take it easy. Later. Bye. Bye.